Uh, this is quite a short video um, about metallic bonding. So metallic bonding occurs in, in metals when they are the, in the state of the elements, when they're not combined uh, in compounds. Okay, what's holding them together? Um, right, so uh, metals, uh, definition of chemistry, chemist definition of metal is an atom that forms positive ions. Okay, so it wants to lose electrons. So for example, uh, sodium uh, is 281, uh, magnesium is 282, electronic structure. So sodium is going to want to lose one electron. So in the pure, in pure sodium, you end up with uh, sodium ions. It will lose, each one will lose one electron. Uh, in pure magnesium, each one is going to lose two electrons, sometimes called the valence electrons. So that will form the Mg2 plus ion. So let's have a look at... Uh, magnesium this is mag magnesium so you have a uh, a load of positive ions and they're arranged in a lattice and all a lattice means is a regular repeating uh, structure so that you can see that that is a regular geometric pattern it's not just random now what's holding that together obviously if they were if it was just magnesium ions there they're all positively charged they would repel each other so the whole thing would just fly apart well it's because when, when a metal exists as an element, it loses its, its valence electrons uh, and they become delocalized. So they're, not, uh, they're no longer attached to one particular atom. They can move about. And there's the, the delocalized electrons represented by those little blue spots there. So what's holding this together, really? Think of that, that electron there. Well, these two magnesium ions are going to be attracted towards that negative electron because they're positive and the delocalized electron is negative. And that's the, the, so the delocalized electrons are sort of the glue that holds all of those ions together in the lattice. Okay, so what can we say about, um, about metals? Well, they've got uh, reasonably high melting points. So that tells us that the, uh, the forces of attraction holding the lattice together are relatively strong then. Um, those interactions between the positive ions and the delocalized electrons are, you know, they're, they're pretty strong. And very importantly, of course, they conduct electricity. Why do they conduct electricity? Um, well, that's because they've got delocalized electrons and the delocalized electrons will move. And that's what an electric current is. So if you apply a voltage to a piece of metal all the electrons are going to move towards the positive voltage. Okay. Um, this, the fact that they've got delocalized electrons also makes metals fairly good, not just conductors of electricity, but they're good heat conductors. Uh, why is that? Most solids are reasonably good conduction conductors compared to, to uh, gases because the particles you know the the ions are actually close proximity and they're vibrating all the time but that's not really why metals are such good conductors because the reason why they're good conductors is down to the delocalized electrons the delocalized electrons can move throughout the structure um, so they can move from one end of a piece of metal to another and transfer heat energy and you know, pick up heat energy at one end and transfer it down to the other end of the, the metal which of course that can't happen in any other solid conduction of heat has to occur by passing the vibrations of the of the the molecules or the ions whatever it is um, down uh, down in, in a sort of ripple effect. Um, another very important property of metals is of course that they are malleable. So that means they are relatively they're soft and you can hammer them into different shapes and so forth. Uh, and why they're malleable? Well, you can see it's because if you look at this magnesium ion down here, uh, if you apply some force to that and push it up, well, it's quite, it's just as happy being there or just as happy being there. Um, and so the, the ions can move about. Right. Uh, and then we contrast that to, let's think about an ionic solid, which I've just drawn a little diagram of sodium chloride down here. Okay, so sodium chloride, that is not malleable, it's very brittle. So this, of course, isn't a, not metal, it's an ionic compound, it's, a, it's an ionic lattice. 
and that will be brittle. So if you put pressure on that, it tends to snap. It doesn't, you can't make it change shape. And, and that is relatively easy to explain that. So imagine if we start pushing down on that row and pushing up on this row. Well, if we manage to move the ions, well, this sodium here is going to come into contact with that positive sodium and they're going to repel each other. And likewise, that chloride would come into contact with that negative chloride. They repel each other. So you'd get like a kind of splitting. It would, it would split. That's what brittle substances do. They break into little bits. Right. The last thing we need to talk about uh, here when we're talking about metals are alloys. And um, I don't really like this explanation, but that is the one which is in the specification and the one you should give is in all mark schemes. Alloys, right. So alloys, they tend to be less malleable than metals, than pure metals. Uh, they tend to be harder, which is sometimes is desirable because if you think something like a drill bit, you don't want it to be too malleable because it will just get blunted straight away. So you can, a lot of metals, you can make them a lot harder by adding uh, by mixing them with another metal. That's what an alloy is. It's a mixture of two metals. So, for example, uh, planes are made up of an alloy called duralumin, which is mostly aluminium, but it's got a small percentage of copper in it. Now, the way in which uh, alloys make, why they make it less, uh, less malleable is that uh, if, you, if you put a different atom in there, different metal atom is going to be a different a different ion it's going to be a different size so let's say we just put another one in there which is bigger i do all this uh, say so that's a different metal and you can see that that's going to disrupt the layer if you have a lot of these larger ions that's going to disrupt the um the layer structure of the ions and that means that they can't slide over each other quite so easily and it makes it less malleable